we are like a family yes. and we are all in this community and we all relate. Maybe straight people can watch a gay couple fall in love and cry with them and laugh with them too. And understand that it is a human experience. Well, and then understand that it's no different. A few moments later. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. Hey, by the way, if you're watching the channel, you're part of the 48% of people who watch my videos who aren't subscribed, please do click that red subscribe button down below. I know you feel like, know it sucks. It would be really, really helpful, and I would greatly appreciate it. Over the weekend, a woke uh, uh, rom-com, which featured two men, uh, came out, <laughs> and it was one of the biggest box office disasters of 2022, maybe the biggest at this point. Um, you could maybe make some arguments against some other bigger budget films because the budget for this film was just 22 million, which is not nothing, but it's not a $200 million Thor, $250 million Thor. You have a $22 million budget, uh, as it means the film's gotta make roughly 50 million to break even. The, the two the the multiple of two times the budget to break even is really closer to three times 50 to 60 million would would have been break even for this movie what can i tell you about the movie well it is a uh uh rom-com about two men that had uh, a massive like big name budget big name directors behind it judd apatow um, Billy Eichner, which is the, used to do the man on the street stuff. Now he's doing some voiceover work for Disney and all this kind of stuff. Um, Rotten Tomatoes loved it. That's generally a good sign of a movie being bad. Uh, but no, I mean, this, 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 um, film had a good audience score and a good critic score. The people that saw it liked it. Now it is a rom-com. Uh, about gay men, okay? So, first of all, who's your target audience here? Men, straight men in particular, aren't going to rom-coms unless they're on a date, for the most part, okay? Maybe you can find a little something to enjoy here and there, but the ultimate goal is to, uh, you know, uh, make your, your old lady happy, so to speak. Maybe get, you know, get maybe t get, get a little frisky in the theater or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't watch rom-coms. I've superseded the, the the paying money to make someone else happy. But this film, who's the audience for the film, right? Gay men, right? I, I don't really know who else is supposed to see this movie. Um, now, yes, you don't have to be to enjoy it, but th the fact of the matter is that's who it's for. I mean, straight men aren't going to see the movie, go to see a, 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 a heartfelt, a smart, swoony, and heartfelt comedy about finding hookups love and romance between men okay so again who's your target audience here what was your ceiling well hollywood's latest box office blunder is your fault according to billy eichner in fact billy eichner blames straight people for bros flopping at the box office now billy eichner is of course gay uh and cool happy for him you know hope he finds love and he's happy guy whatever it doesn't matter to me but this is exactly the same thing right charlie's angels right with elizabeth banks saying if charlie angels flops it reinforces the stereotype in hollywood that men don't go to see women do action movies and it flopped first of all that's probably true there are a few you know random examples but also let's not forget that gay people also did not see this movie Okay, so you're going to blame it on straight people, um, but there are, I mean, what, at this point, you if you watch mainstream media, you'd believe 25% of the population in this country is LGBTQ, but I mean, they didn't go see it either. An absolute disaster. And by the way, this is, you know, let's see, so Matt Walsh writes, the gay romantic comedy starring two dudes had tons of media hype and marketing dollars behind it but made less than $5 million on its opening weekend. 
one of the biggest tanks in recent history. I mean, it, it, it's true. And Smile, uh, I mean, it's not like it was a big box office uh, film, I don't think. I mean, it, it, it's a big weekend, I mean. Like, it, it's just not, it wasn't a good time to, to be at the movies, I suppose. Uh, but the interesting thing for me is uh, the, the, you know, the blame. You know, these LGBTQ rom-com flops at box office, writer blames phobic weirdos. The screaming are behind bros, LGBTQ's first, L uh, Hollywood's first LGBTQ romantic comedy is blaming phobic weirdos for the dismal opening at the box office performance. Billy Eichner, who co-starred in the film, as well as co-wrote it with director Nicholas Stoller, lashed out at the movie for uh, uh, as the movie pulled in a mere $4.8 million, leaving it in fourth place behind Smile don't Worry, Darling, Wo and Woman King, three other terrible movies. The disappointing ticket can't, couldn't possibly have anything to do with the movie's quality, he insisted. Last night, I snuck into the sat and sat in the back of a sold-out theater playing bros in L.A. Okay, Los Angeles maybe came out to see it. You had enough of a condensed uh, LGBTQ community that wanted to go out and see it. I don't know. The audience howled with laughter. Start to finish, burst into applause at the end. That's not, oh, that's always cringe when people applause in the movies, by the way. And some were wiping away tears as they walked out. It was truly magical. Really, I'm very proud of this movie. Rolling Stone already has bros on the list of the top 10 comedies of the 21st century, she, he wrote. He then posted his theory as to why his movie is struggling at the, is because hetero people didn't go to see it. Even with glowing reviews, Great Rotten Tomato scores, a cinema score, an A cinema score, straight people, especially those in certain parts of the country, he's talking about the Midwest, didn't show up to see bros. He wrote, and that's disappointing, but it is what it is. Are you joking? Are you serious with this? Everyone who isn't a phobic weirdo should go see bros tonight, as it is special and uniquely powerful to see this particular story on the big screen especially for queer folks who don't get this opportunity very often it's like he's guilt and shaming people into seeing the movie you can see i don't think this kind of sales pitch is gonna work commentator david uh, raboy noted support me or you're a homophobe doesn't have the marketing power it once used to thanks to overuse that's good to see May the movie pass a thousand deaths, Derek Hunter wrote of Town Hall. Look, I don't know if the movie's good or not. That's going to be objective. But the what? how would you think? Who did you think was going to go see this movie? All right. Like straight men don't want to go watch a movie about two dudes falling in love. Sorry, that's not phobic. Okay. They just don't want to see that movie. You know, it's just, I mean, the box office... I don't even know the the movie. Apparently, the people who saw it actually liked it, and that's fine. But who was your target audience here? Like, and then when it tanks, you see Max Lugavere writes, "Bros completely tanked at the box box office, and you're phobic if you didn't go see it." Uh, author Rod Dreyer writes, "You're a bigot if you don't go see to, go see my failed movie." And oh, by the way, this is a guy, okay, that you know hilariously. Uh, has gone on these type of rants before. Here's Noam Blum writing, haha, suck it, phobes, suck it, phobes. Hey, what WTF, the phobes didn't go see my movie. Here's Billy Eicher, sorry, phobes, bros is coming whether you like it or not. Okay. I mean, just because a movie comes out, that doesn't mean anyone has to go see it. You see, not one of the funniest films of the year, but also one of the best. Sorry, homophobes. Okay, this is all, this is how he marketed it, going up to it. Sincere apologies to my haters and homophobes, but... Oh, you mean an LGBTQ-themed rom-com got a high score from lunatic leftist review, critic reviewers? I, I, I'm shocked. I mean, it's like, is that, is this like... Me sewing, haha, F yeah, yes, me reaping. Well, this effing sucks. What the F? I, 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 I just think it's absolutely hilarious. Billy Eichner blames homophobia for bros box office tanking. 
I mean, could it, could you have had a more predictable result? Look, and again, this isn't, I mean, this is literally get woke, go broke. But I mean, if you want to make this movie, okay, then you must accept that you have a much smaller demographic for that movie. And thus, you must budget accordingly. You can't just expect everyone to go see your movie because to, what, to prove they don't, they're not phobic. I mean, the, the, the meltdown would be funny if it wasn't so predictable. I mean, your movie sucked. It lost money. It lost a lot of money. And you're never going to get this kind of Project Greenlit again. Now, had you spent money more wisely, maybe, and had a $10 million budget, 7 to $10 million budget or something like that, you probably make money or you at least break even and everything's happy. The idea that, the idea that, you're gonna go attack straight people because they didn't go see your movie? I mean, that's like being mad at adults for a, a children's movie not doing well in the, in the box office. Was straight people your target audience? And if so, what did you think about this movie that they would connect with and that they'd wanna pay you money to see? Two dudes making out? Like, I, I don't know, like, Will and Grace was funny, but I don't know if I'd want to see two hours featuring the the guy in there. I forget what his name is, right? Like, I, I you know, like it's just not what I want to pay to go to the movies and see. And it's not like that big of a deal. But the fact that you're gonna go and and attack people for it, I mean, this is this is again how he was marketing it in the first place. Do I want to go to the theater and watch two dudes? I mean, look at all their clips. The thumbnails are guys kissing and here's guys in the bedroom. I'm not phobic. I just don't. It's called having a preference, right? I don't call Billy Eichner like uh, straight phobic if he doesn't go see movies that are about being straight. It's, it's you know, it's it's fine. I, I, this was this is a perfect example of making a movie for critics. Hollywood's latest box office tank is your fault. I mean, here's Ryan Murphy. My friend Billy Eichner made a brilliant historic movie that opened tomorrow. I'm going to go see it in the theater, and you should too. Like, just people just begging people to go see it. I'm glad this box office... I, I'm glad this movie tanked. Just because of the way he reacted. If he hadn't have said this, it would have just been like a simple, you spent too much money and you're too small of an audience. But, you know, you could see, according to the latest governmental figure, there are 333 million Americans. A recent Gallup polling has said over 7% of Americans identify as LGBTQ. That gives us roughly 23 million LGB community members. The weekend box office was 4.8 million. The average price for tickets these days is $10. We can allow for discounted price viewing times and ticket giveaways, but that will bring us a rough estimate of just 500,000 tickets sold for this weekend's premiere. Now, even if every single ticket buyer was from the LGBTQ community, that's a paltry representation, single digit percentage of gays who came out to see bro. Oopsie. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did leave a like on it and make sure you subscribe down below and we'll talk to you again real soon.